Any try hex subs? Give me a try USA. All right, guys, kicking it off game one. We have there we go. Swarm gaming and flip side tactics. We are looking at Stocky at the moment, and it is early. Early with Cooks here, coming right out of the gate. Let's actually take another look at that. I was at a weird angle. You haven't been just on a redirect, getting it right around to bore this. Let's do this. Not really much to worry about, though. One goal, ten seconds into the match. Granted, you then have to score at least two to win. Still not really at a disadvantage, though, overall. I wouldn't say. Still watching Cooks here, because he is apparently extremely expl explosive. At the moment, at least. Getting bumped around by, his, by, uh, by Mike Rules. Some explosions happening. DeBoer Brothers knocking it back into the zone. But it looks like Cooks here was there. Wasn't able to get a hand on it. But Pashi is there. And Cooks here with the save. It's pretty good that we're staying on him. We're going to jump over to Pashi, though. And see how he plays on defense here. But that was Cooks here. Should not have gotten off of him. He is the winner. He's the winner. He's the best. So, Cooks here again. Playing off the rebound. Knowing where everyone was, knowing he had to get up just slightly higher than everyone else to make sure no one else was going to interrupt him. And he is there with two goals in two shots, a 100% conversion ratio. Able to actually nail that off the wall, a really tough timing to hit, especially on a kickoff like that. Cook's ear is absolutely a monster right now. And that's not to mention, I mean, he, we also have Mike Rules and Marky Duda on this team. Ball's falling way back into the zone. That's actually back for Marky. Let's switch to him. Check him out off the wall. And it's looking like DeBoer is going to be there to actually push it back into the zone. And it looks like Marky is actually going to be the one taking the point as far as he's going to be the one who's going to break this out again. Cooks here is being opportunistic. Looks like Marky is actually the one who's... Uh, Who's pushing the thing through? Evidenced by the fact he does have one assist of the two goals in the game. Let's jump back over to Stocky in his gizmo. See what's going on with him. There is a bunch. Bunch of stuff happening right now. But again, nothing really threatening at the angle that it's at. But Stocky, with Marky Duda exploding... I believe that may have actually pushed Stocky off to a different angle and didn't allow it to go in. Marky Duda with a decent clear. Not too, too far away, though, so it's still going to be in the zone until they push it all the way out. There's Mike Rules. A little bit too high. Cooks here. Also a little bit too high. Didn't rotate quite correctly. I'm going to follow him again, see if he... Uh, see if while I watch him, he actually scores. No. That is uh, going to be slightly off, but Mike Rules is going to be there for the return. Interesting interesting thing about Flipside is that they do not have a weak position. Each player has a weak aspect, something that they may not be so good at. But there's no position in which that they lack. Uh, for example, someone like a Untethered might not have the greatest passing ability. They might not, or they have a great passing ability, but they might ha not have the greatest uh, like full field aerial ability, or maybe even just the greatest defensive ability in general. Uh, Flipside does not have a general weakness as a team. They all kind of compensate for everyone else's weaknesses, and anything that does happen, very well placed but demolition. I wanted to, wanted to get a view on that before the goal went in, but here's Pashi's goal. Pop it up in. Really good carry on his part. Uh, just staying just below where he needs to be uh, until he's right sure he's going to be able to hit it and get it in. That's that correction that I was expecting out of this entire tournament uh, when it came to players taking shots that were going just a little bit high. They need to make those corrections to keep them just a little bit below the crossbar so that they go in. They can, in fact, even hit the crossbar if they need to, but they'll still go in. So playing in the zone again, you have Stocky was there actually preventing everything from happening. Uh, whatever Pashi was doing was not actually going to save much of anything. And we have Mike Rules coming up onto it, but it looks like someone else was there. I did not quite catch the name of that, but DeBoer... DeBoer from a distance. 
And that's ca that's capitalizing on something. That's not necessarily the trickiest shot in the world. Granted, it's a good shot. It's not the trickiest shot in the world. He is uh, just capitalizing on maybe some misplacement by the by Swarm Gaming. So we have quite a few things happening all at once here. So it's a tie game. Game one, semifinal, to determine who goes to face Cosmic Aftershock in the final based on the placement matches that happened earlier. We have two teams who have similar play styles. Not the same, but similar. We have Cooks here, who has been on fire all game, except recently got shut out a little bit, and Mike rules with a really, really solid clear. Let's jump down on the field and look at Marky. Cooks here with a really good shot, but Stocky with an even better uh, clear attempt. That's a really good shot in by Marky. Marky Duda with a goal. That's actually really interesting. I'd be, I'm really curious to see where Pashi was. Okay, so he was actually leaving goal. Okay. And DeBoer did not have enough chance, did not have enough time to get back in goal. So, hey. That's uh, no harm, no foul. Grand, they're up by one. Again, first match. They have to play at least four matches before we determine who goes on to face Cosmic Aftershock in the final for the top prize, which I believe is $350. Uh, now, granted, this series determines that somebody automatically, both player, both teams here actually win something. Uh, first, second, and third place all win something. The only team that's walking away with nothing is untethered, unfortunately. Hate to call them out on that. But it looks like before the end of the match, you might have the opportunity for a BM goal, which happens, and Pashi's the one that scores it. So, hey, that's that happens. Take a look at Pashi. Zero to zero time already, and he goes ahead and scores, because hey, why not? It's Rocket League. We're all friends here. GG's. So, we are going to ready right back up and go back into it. Game number two. That is going to be game one that went to Flipside Tactics. So, we're going to jump right back in. Let's go up. Up. Bam. All right. So, everyone's back in. We are waiting for the countdown. Hello. There we go. All right. So, Cook's here right off the bat again. Being in there, just being a little bit wide, maybe a little bit too, uh, little bit too confident with the angle he was looking at. The control that Cook's here has is... I won't say unrivaled, but right up there. It's he is in the top five for actual vehicle control in the air, and that is that is what makes your offensive presence that much better. Is being able to know exactly what angle I have to put my car at while I'm hurtling through the sky, to be able to get the ball to go just the direction that it needs to to get into the net. Kind of like that. It looks like Cooks here is actually pushing it straight back in. DeBoer should be there to defuse it, and now we're playing a little bit of ping pong. Decent clear by Mike Rules. Pushing it back in, but Pashi knocks it all the way in. Cooks here should have been there for a clear, but went past him, but it was still off the wall anyway. Jump over to Marky Duda to see what he is up to. We have Marky sitting in goal waiting, assuming that something's going to get cleared. Stocky's going up, going to retap that. Did not have enough time to react to it. Let's go ahead and jump over and look at Stocky, see why he did what he did. So he pops it up, which is a common tactic, but then doesn't actually choose to to nail it in until the very last minute so we can actually get a little bit of an advantage that, that half a second uh, earlier time to prevent them from even getting it in. And Pashi, almost right off the bat, that's a goal that he will score more often than not. And it's a goal that he goes for quite a bit, depending on the spawn locations of the, uh, of the kickoff. Jump off of Pashi, look at DeBoer here. And he's been kind of quiet. I mean, he's had two shots, two saves. But nothing really on offense that's uh, super, super exciting. Granted, there's no more goals in the game, but there's Cooks here. Again, Cooks here with every goal from Flipside Tactics for this entire series. From a wide angle, it's a great shot. That's one of those, again, that it comes back to his control of his car in space. Knowing where the ball is, how it's coming in, and how he has to react to that, and how it has to hit him. Uh, creating a a really difficult goal opportunity for Swarm to actually defend. Is it, you can't 
you can't guess that that the opposing team is just going to hit that. It's a, it's a tough shot to hit, and even if they do hit it, it's one that you wouldn't necessarily have to defend with all your might. You just kind of have to have a passing drive-by and just kind of hit it. I believe Duda may have had another goal in the series so far as well. But I believe... Uh, yeah. Because Patchy scored the last one. There's Stocky. So that's actually 2-1 for Swarm. So that's actually going to even the match out if we end up going this long this way. Uh, but yeah, Stocky with a solid shot, knowing that he had the jump, knowing how to how to get it back up into the top corner there. And that's all just the little things that you learn as, as you play longer. How far away do I have to be to place the ball directly up in the top corner of the net? And how hard would that be for my opponent to defend from the position that they're in? And... That particular situation was, yeah, I could just put it there and no one's going to get to it. So, wide open net if Marky Duda can get there and he's just barely off. Again, some a little thing with, the, with an accuracy today a little bit. And Cook's here, steering the ball in the air and just barely missing off to the left. To the right, sorry. We're going to jump over to Mike Rules. See what he's doing with the ball. Not a whole lot. He's backing up. But it looks like he is preparing to re-clear. But the ball got popped up maybe a little bit too high for him, and he had to jump all the way in. Micro's coming back up off the wall. Trying to just get it down in the center so that no one, where no one will clear it. Not the case. DeBoer and Pashi both there for it. Redirect, though, and Stocky's also still there to make the clear. Stocky all over the place, preventing a lot of things from happening all at the same time. There's Cooks here coming all the way. Let's jump back over to him, the man himself. See where exactly he is, what he is doing. It's coming up off the wall, and it's not necessarily the worst place for the ball to be for, uh, for flip side, but right now, it's definitely better than what it was. So now we have Mike Rules coming in, trying to set it up as best he can, but Pashi and Stocky, I believe, were both there, unless it was DeBoer. Let's jump over to Stocky, see what he's doing again. We have 54 seconds left, and all Swarm has to do is prevent Flipside from scoring, and they, and they tie this series up 1-1. And Pashi dodges just the incorrect direction, otherwise he would have had that goal fairly easily. Just... Looks like he was trying to get maybe less velocity on the ball to prevent it from being blocked by the person who was right next to him. Unfortunately, was unable to do that. Uh, let's jump over to Marky Duda for the last 30 seconds here. See what he is doing. See how he is trying to uh, to elevate his team. Cooks here with a shot. Was on target, but Pashi was there to knock it back away. Mike rolls with a set, but nobody there to capitalize on the set. Possibly going for a stab here as far as trying to get a stretch. And Pashi was there to knock it away. With no seconds left, unless, of course, we can get a couple sets here to bring it to a tie. No, touches the ground. Pashi was there as well. Chances are he may have had a decent opportunity of blocking it. It looks like we are going to be playing three from this. Okay. Oh, okay. This, they're straight at both European. I forgot about that. Okay. See, we have a dev, at least, in the chat. How's it going, Corey? How you doing? We are going to go ahead and spectate. Move right on to round three. So that is 1-1. One, one. We have Swarm at one. Flipside Tactics at one. And this is turning out to be the series that I thought, I thought it was going to be. It's a lot of... It's a lot of back and forth, but also a lot of trying to force your opponent to make mistakes. It's not just playing and hoping that they eventually do. It's putting the ball in positions in which it's very easy for your opponent to make a mistake. Let's jump down on the field and look at Pashi here. As he's maybe a little bit overextended, but Stocky with a really solid clear. See if Pashi can actually start making some impacts here. He already has a save in the game. Doing a modified somersault. That's fine. Gymnastics is cool. And Pashi has that 
a tendency to always, almost always turn, I apologize for opening my microphone, almost always turn when he's going for an aerial to knock it into the zone. It gives him more surface area on the side of the car to knock it deeper into the zone. Uh, something you'll see on occasion, especially when you're they're just trying to get contact on the ball. Not necessarily aiming it, but just trying to get it to go somewhere. Pashi with a really solid clear from the top of the net, but there uh, looks like Mike Rolls was there to force it back in. That's getting past Marky Duda. And Stocky's on a bit of a break. If he can pass it over to Pashi, this might be a decent shot at goal, but Cooks here is there to defuse it. Making me get all excited all at once and then taking it all away. I have a pretty good idea what, uh, what Pashi is going for here, but looks like it keeps getting diffused fairly easily by, uh, by Mike Rolls and Marky Duda, who both seem to have Pashi's number in this series here. We're actually going to jump over to Marky really quickly. Marky with a shot already, and I believe that was actually the shot that Pashi had saved. Curious to see if he can kind of lean a little bit more on the aggressive side, I think is what he would need. Cooks here and Marky were both just fighting over that ball, causing maybe a little bit too much of a, of a delay and actually allowing Swarm to actually set up for proper defense. There's Mike. If that would have been a little bit higher, chances are that would have been in, but he uh, managed to hit it a little bit low. Marky kind of researching the location, trying to figure out where the boost was. Finally found it. Jump over to Stocky in his gizmo again. See what's going on over here. Look, okay, there's a lot of... There's a lot of swarm... This game is going at swarm's pace. Granted, it seems like Flipside has had a lot of... A lot of the possession. And there it is, Stocky with a goal. Didn't even realize that was going to be that close. It looked like he was at uh, a bit too weird of an angle. But yeah, as soon as it goes up, Stocky's there and just far enough away to redirect it, making sure that uh, that Cooks here wasn't there to actually block it. Really great goal coming out of Stocky. Looking at DeBoer now. But no, like I said, the, the game is actually going at Swarm's pace. Even if Flipside is having some some contact on the ball and actually having some possession, it seems to really be going at that methodical kind of let's make sure that this game is let's make sure we're getting our touches and touching what we need to, when we need to until Cooks here comes in and scores again. That's four goals four goals in the series for Cooks here. Tied 1-1 one, one with a minute 50 left, but it looks like all he had to do yeah, was touch it just barely. So we're actually going to sit on Cooks here for a little bit here, see what he's going, see what's going on with him. It seems like a lot of Flipside's opportunities have come from kind of one-time window opportunities. You're not, they're not forcing the opponents to make mistakes. They're not forcing Swarm to be out of position. They just so happen to be after a period of time. And that's something that I don't necessarily think will bode well for them uh, in the long term in this series. Because it got them two early goals, two early easy goals in Game 1 but may not get them any more or very few goals going forward and certainly not enough goals to, uh, to defeat Swarm. So there's Stocky back in the corner. We're actually going to jump over and take a look at DeVore again. See what, see what he has up his sleeve. There's a lot of over-rotation happening here. And it's just, ugh, man, it's so close to almost being saved. Uh, if you take a look at it again, we're going to take a look at Mike and see that once it bounces up in, everyone was there. And Pashi was actually there, maybe not close enough, but if he was touching the back of that ball and Mark would have hit it, or Mike would have hit it, it actually would have bounced all the way straight back out, depending on the angle. Uh, so it's actually really, really close. And now we have Swarm down by one minute left. And DeBoer catching just a piece of that to keep it in the zone. Trying to ensure that they get at least a few more looks at it before they uh, before they give this match up. I take it off of the uh, not ball cam. Except for that fact that he just scored. Okay. Let's jump back to Mike. Take a look at it again. 
Okay, so he jumps, beats the board to it just barely, getting enough velocity on it to get it all the way out into the goal before anyone else has a chance to jump up and defend it. So Ken, Pashi, and crew score two goals in 30 seconds. Probably not, especially considering it's 20 seconds now. Oof, Marky with another goal. I would not call that... I would not call that a lucky goal. I would call that maybe a few opportunistic bounces. Jump back over to Stocky. Or, sorry, to uh, Pashy. Shot just barely coming out a bit wide. And hey, there's my Steam notifications. <laughs> and the insult injury, maybe not, maybe yes. Yep, there it is. Let's go ahead and take a look at Marky. Alrighty, so that is 2-1. Flipside tactics. Already been updated. Almost everybody's ready. Oh, we're ready up. Waiting for Marky Duda just yet. But yeah, the uh, series is going really well. You would expect that from the two top EU teams uh, facing each other. It's a matter of... I mean, they have, they have the opportunity to scrim each other on a regular basis. They play each other... Fairly often, as far as I, I can tell. And uh, they all are relatively familiar with each other and know kind of what's going on. So I would expect some really close games out of it. Cooks here again, playing off the wall. Double tap. Three touches. All the way into the zone, but maybe just a little bit off target. If he would have had that on target for goal, it would have been in. No one was there to actually defend against that. Cooks here playing off the wall again. With that... Uh, kind of insane knowledge of the physics and how this game works off the wall knowing exactly what has to happen to get your car to do exactly the thing you want to Cooks you're playing a good block there, let's jump over to Stocky Mike rules with the goal. That actually caught me a little bit off guard. I wasn't expecting the uh, the shot to come in from the direction that it did. Okay. Okay, so he doubled back across the ball twice. And uh, was able to get just the right angle on it to get it to go in. So still watching Mike rules at this point. Jump over to DeBoer. Seeing where, uh, seeing where Swarm's going to try to pull their, pull their energy from. Is it the Twitch chat? I don't know. Just barely off. And there's two players playing back in goal. And at that point, you don't even necessarily want to be taking shots in there. Uh, you want to run them up the sides and force them to come out. And Stocky in with another relatively simple goal um, from where he's at. So bouncing up off of Cooks here, knowing where he has to be, rotating to get as much surface area on that ball as he possibly can, and pumping it in for the goal. I'm going to jump over and check out Pashi. Divorce pushing it up the field, but yeah, back to what I was mentioning. If you're... Mark you with the clear. If you're... Uh, if there's two or even one person in goal and they're really deep in goal or like entrenched there, run the ball up the side in the corner and see if uh, see if you can force them to come out and actually react to your offensive play in the corner. That way the goal at least opens up or forces them to rotate out. That is uh, usually what will end up happening there. Or you'll make a shot and the rebound will come out and it'll be relatively easy for a teammate to come in and shoot again. Kind of the... The, the opposing a te the opposing team assisted alley oop and they're stocky. Speaking of alley oops, with uh, shot off the top end, he knew where he had to be, and he made sure he was there 
to just push it in. What a shot. Jump to DeBoer, who's going to be playing back here at the beginning, at least. Just barely made his way to it, using, utilizing that double jump to get himself just a little bit higher, a little bit faster. Cooks here with a shot, and Pashi almost had it, but not quite. Let's take a look at this again. Great shot. That's uh, that's Cooks here being Cooks here. There's not really a whole lot to go over with that one. Just awareness and making sure you're where you're supposed to be. Let's take a look at Mike rules. And Cooks here with a good pass. Mike rules. Joe oh, Cooks here again. Ah, took everyone and their friends and their teachers. To actually get that thing in there, but eventually, let's count it. One touch, two touches. There's the third touch that puts it all the way up in the corner. So everyone on the team touched it. Almost everyone on the other team did too, but it finally went in. Great shot. DeBoer again on the kickoff. Marky pushing it up through. Ball playing in the air quite a bit this match specifically. It looks like it's been it's been hanging out quite a bit, and they're. Uh, Playing off the wall all the time, obviously with the with judging when the contact point is going to be, which is something that's a, definitely a high level high level application. But even knowing how to do it correctly, I think is even lost on some people, even at a higher level. I'm uh, not necessarily saying pros, but people in the gold tier. So they're pushing. Pashi was there, but not quite ready for a shot that wide. Luckily, it was a little bit too wide. Stocky there knocks that thing away, but no one's getting enough velocity on anything to actually push it away. They're just kind of holding it in their corner here and letting it sit. That is... Oh, what a save. Well, he had the perfect angle to see just how close that was going in. And that is... I believe that was Pashi that pushed that back out, but that was so very close to being in. That thing just barely came back out. And that would maybe put this game out of reach for them, too. So that's really, really good play on the part of Swarm to get this thing to push. Nice shot by Cooks here to actually put it, to seal it up, maybe. 50 seconds left, two goals to go. It's not unheard of. Playing against Flipside Tactics, probably not going to happen. So it looks like this is going to be three games to one in favor of Flipside Tactics, assuming nothing happens with Swarm. And that very easily could have made this a game again, but Mike Rule's coming out of nowhere to clear it back out. Still keeping an eye on Cooksey here, seeing if he has anything else up his sleeve. I'm going to pop over to uh, one of the members of Swarm here for the last 30 seconds, though. Let's take a, sh take a shot at Pashi. See what he looks like for the, uh, for the final 30 seconds. See if they can maybe at least wrap up another goal. They don't want to go down three games to one. That is, uh, it's pretty close to, to spelling your spell in your fate. Granted, it's not 0-3, but you still don't want to be down by anything more than a game. Granted, wouldn't want to be down by any games, but hey, why not? Ten seconds left to go. Looks like there's uh, very little chance of anything major happening at this point, except for explosions. Cooks here just got exploded. So that is going to be game. It's flip side three, Swarm Gaming one. We're going to ready right back up. These guys look like they want to try to fight it back. We're going to start right back up here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go spectate. I do not want to be on one of these teams, believe me. That would be the worst. Kickoff again. Mike Rules and DeBoer going for it. Neutral zone for the most part, but it looks like we are going to end up having Stocky coming after. But Mark, he's going to stop it immediately as well. Cooks here there to knock it back. It looks like he tried to pass it to Mike, but hit it maybe a little bit too hard. Allowing Stocky to actually push up in, and it's actually going to stay in the offensive zone. So we're going to jump over to DeBoer here and take a look and see from the field level exactly what's happening. So Marky Duda, right? He is... Currently, 
the unsung MVP of the series. Cook's here, obviously. MVP of the series. Actually, absolutely destroying everything. But Marky has been there, or nearby, for pretty much everything that's happened, except for the fact that he just knocked the ball away from Cooks here there. He has been very close to pretty much everything. Mike also has been there, but that, granted, not quite as much as, uh, as Marky Duda. DeBoer knocking it back out into the zone, but Cooks here keeping it in. Mike Rules popping it up, hoping that there was going to be a shot there, but DeBoer manages to knock it back out with his rear end. Pretty hard shot coming back up off the wall, and it's a little bit wide, so it's actually going to have enough momentum to get back out to midfield again. Softer this time, though, allowing them to possibly get a second shot, but it is cleared. Stocky is there to push it back up into the zone, but Mike Rules has a shot. Again, shooting from really far away uh, is Mike Rules, but Getting them close. I mean, they're counting his shots, and I believe that the uh, the knockaways are counting his saves, but not quite uh, not quite as effective as they could have been. What a shot from Cooks here. I'm not sure if he intended on that going in. Granted, you would want it to normally, but it looks like he was setting this up as a as a pass. No, it looks like that was definitely intended as a shot. What a shot that was too. Cooks here for president. Cooks here 2018, 2016, because that's next year. So back top side, we're looking at Cooks here knocking it back over into the zone. We have quite a few things that need to happen for Swarm to actually dig back out of this. They need to keep Cooks here in check, A. B, they need to make sure that they're not in their own zone all the time. And when they aren't in their own zone, they're at least setting themselves up to have more than one shot on goal. If you notice, every time the ball is in Swarm Gaming's zone... And flip side is making an attack. Here's a perfect example. They're going to make one shot. And they're going to back right back off. And it's going to push straight back out to the other side. Granted, they're knocking it back in again. But it's not necessarily giving them offensive pressure. They need to be able to give themselves the ability to have some offensive pressure. Jump back down on the field and take a look at DeBoer. Hoping that they can keep some of this pressure up. Again, as a reminder, if Flipside wins this game, they move on to the finals, the flippity finals, for, uh, for the best of seven match against Cosmic Aftershock, who is in the wings and ready to go. Not sure if we're going to run a small intermission for uh, whoever the winner of this series is after it's over, because obviously they just played upwards of four games. But uh, we will play that by ear as we get there. But... Getting back to the game, we have Cooks here with a shot. Passion with a solid save. That would have been going in either way. Mike Rules knocks it back in anyway. As I said earlier, Marky Duda's usually there. Mike Rules just so happens see if Marky Duda's actually up there. But Mike Rules is, in fact, the one to take the shot. Marky Duda with the assist. Jump back over to Stocky here. See if uh, they can maybe fight their way back for over the last minute and 33 seconds here today. In this series. Stocky tried to pass it, but ended up almost being a shot because it counted as a, as a save for Cooks here. But uh, no one was there to actually follow that up and push it all the way in. Bounce off the wall pretty hard. Gives uh, Stocky the ability to push it all the way back out. Can he get to the wall? Nope, not quite. And uh, Pashi is there, knocking it back in. So we're going to jump over to DeBoer, see what he's doing with his soccer head. Or soccer antenna topper. There's Stocky with the goal. We're just following him. So it actually brings it to 1-2. We have 51 seconds before Flipside Tactics moves to the next tier and plays Cosmic Aftershock. If they lose and, and lose to Swarm Gaming, we just move on to another game, which I would not mind. This is a really, really... I like this series a lot. I enjoy... I enjoy watching both of these players. Both of these, both of these teams play. Again, best of, best of the best in Europe. Uh, the only There's a few other teams that would arguably be on that list. Uh, it just so happens that this is the one based on the power rankings currently. And some, of the, some of the more well-known names. I mean, obviously, Cosmic Aftershock for Rocket League is a, is a household or car hold name. 
But, uh, I mean, even Flipside Tactics, Swarm Gaming, both pretty, pretty high up there as far as the, uh, the echelons of competitive Rocket League is concerned. And there's Cooks here, knocking it away, but Stocky back on top of it. Pashi, got to make something happen in the next six seconds, and I'm not sure that it's going to. There's a knock up. And it hits the ground for in front of DeVoer. And that is going to be games. GG's had all around. DeVoer left. GG's from everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go to a short break.